In this video, I will show you how to add two wire interface to your project in Microchip Studio 7. So let's begin. Our test accelerometer to implement the two wire interface will be the MPU 6050. So let's begin with connecting ground to the board. Signals, in this case, the white one will be the serial clock. So connect it into the SCL1 and the gray one to the SDA1. And finally, we connect the 3.3 volt. And now the device connected. So let's add code to it. For this example, we will use the USB CDC template and add the driver and the service through the ASF wizard. Okay, uh, since we will use the two wire interface uh, zero instance we need to go to the port configuration and find the uh, configure macro for two wire interface uh, zero okay uh, this will uh, configure the two pins we need to uh, send the clock and send receive data. Okay, now let's go to the wire interface H file. And we will use the wire interface master. Here we have uh, example code of implementation. And we will copy this into the main file. So now, um, here we have, uh, for the example, declared to our interface uh, master zero. Uh, but uh, we don't need to add our own definition. We can use instead to wire interface zero without uh, making any pointers. So now the address to the MPU is 68. Let's go ahead and copy the init function before starting the main loop. And we need also to enable the clock for the peripheral. Okay, now returning to the master file, we have an example of sending a packet of data to the chip. We can copy this. Let's first add it here before the main loop. And this is a function to write the package, the data. And here we have a data we want to write. For example, to a register. So um, for the MPU, we need to write uh, into two registers, one with the address 6B, and we need to write there 
zero, zero. So that will be our first uh, package, right? So address in here is the address uh, in the chip we want to write. So 6b and the uh, address length will be uint8 because we sent only one byte of data and the chip address is 0xx68 and the buffer we need to say it's our test pattern one we need to add a second one because for them you need two packets of data and we will call it two and this one the first and this will be the second so uh, the second one will have 10 in data and the others will be 1c okay now we can uh, just pay uh, erase this from here and we will add it after we have configured the two wire interface again and without the pointer and now the, it was packet write one okay and we need also to write the second one so now in this step we will have the device configured and now we would like to uh, read the data incoming from the MPU so let's return to the H file and here we have an example of how to receive uh, data so let's go ahead and copy this in here and now again we need uh, for the data from the accelerator uh, it's address 3b and we would like to uh, read only the first axis it's x axis again the address length it's only one byte and the chip again is 0x 68 so we would like to read only two two bytes only one axis and write it to the buffer which is this so now let's Let's do the read. Okay, and now we can combine the data. Let's create for the readings from the accelerometer. You need to use uh, an int sixteen because it could be um, below zero. So let's name it x x a, and it will be um, data received zero. And we have to shift it left by 8 and combine it with the second byte. OK. 
okay and now we would like to send the results so for sending the results we need to convert the binary into ASCII so let's use sprint and declare buffer and use the buffer to store uh, the ASCII results Okay, and let's add to the buffer also the new line. So we use Esther cat. Okay, and now we will print it in a loop. And the length of S3 RLN of buffer 2. Okay. And we will send it to the USB. We can just erase the previous one sending. Okay, now we can try to. Oh, sorry, we need also to add the uh, uh, string.h. Okay, and let's try to build a solution. Okay, so we have to, oh, something like this missing, and something like this. Because before we had an if statement, no, we don't. Okay. Okay, let's try to build it again. Okay. So now we can flash the uh, project for board. So let's select device, file, the options, and let's write it. Okay. Let's reset the board. Select the device. and let's open it up okay as you can see we got data incoming as I move the accelerometer it also changes okay as you can see by changing changing the 
location of the sensor, we got different readings. So the sensor definitely works. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.